Hi, and welcome to Carolina Varsity's 2014 look at the NCHSA playoffs. I'm Dale Ross. And I'm Matt Morris. And uh, we're back. We didn't do anything during the season. Matt was doing things in the season, uh, coaching. So here we are to do some videos for the playoffs. And first uh, game that we're going to take a look at will be number nine, Providence, who had an 8-3 and three, uh, record this year. Uh, is playing at uh, Northwest uh, Guilford, the number eight, who was also eight and three. Uh, I got a chance to see Providence, and of course, you know, Providence is, uh, I saw a comment about they're not like some of the older teams, but they kind of are. They, uh, you know, they, they've got the power, they're the run. Uh, uh, Justin Harden is uh, using the option. I know you got to see them in conference and play. Uh, they're a little hurt right now. King went down, and that's a that's a big blow to that team, both on the offense and defense. Uh, I, I compare him a lot to a Spencer Shuey, but anyway, I think this is a a, a game that uh, obviously a nine and an eight sometimes can be very very tough game. Uh, I understand if, if you'll tell us Northwest Guilford's uh, switch to a uh, spread of offense, so mm -hmm. be interesting to see how this goes. But I think it could be a very competitive game. Yeah, well, Northwest Guilford, uh, we took a look at them last year. They played Mallet Creek in the uh, playoffs, and they were a wing T team. Um, but they have switched coaches. Uh, their head coach now was the uh, former offensive coordinator at Northern Guilford. Uh, so they've switched offenses. They are a spread type of um, offense. Um, last week, they lost to East Forsyth in a big game, 36-13. Uh, um I think for Northwest Guilford, uh, them being at home is going to help them a lot. Uh, read some things about their environment up there. Um, it's going to be a big, big crowd. Um, for them having a Charlotte team come in there, you guys know how they feel about Charlotte exactly. outside of Charlotte. <laughs> so um, for Providence, you guys will you know expect that. Um, of course, you know we faced Providence uh, a few weeks back, and you know they're very impressive. Uh, their size on the offensive line. You know, was is is very very strong. Um, they, most most people think of them as a run team, but they they have ability through the air, yeah. um, and that's something Northwest Guilford's going to have to uh, really really be keen on because Harden's good, it does a real good job of reading the line of scrimmage at before the snap, and then adjusting his play call based on based off of your alignment. Um, I think Northwest Guilford's going to have to keep them off balance on defense. Um, and they really have to get on top because you saw what happened with, with Catholic. Catholic was able to kind of get on top of them. Providence made a good comeback, mm -hmm. but then, um, you know, kind of went back and forth. But um, you always want to kind of make, make a team like Providence play from behind and make them feel the pressure, especially on the road in the playoffs. Right. Uh, these guys have been battle-tested, though. So um, with Providence, um, Northwest Gilbert has some athletes, and they can throw the ball. And they're a totally different type of offense than from last season. Um, I think you want to keep things in front of them, don't allow the big play, especially at home. And, um, you know, use that big offensive line and, and control the clock. You know, if they do those two things, um, I think it's going to be close, no matter what. Um, you know, given that they have to go on the road up there to a hostile environment. Um, I, I, you guys are going to see a real good game up in Northwest Guilford. I think so, too. So uh, hopefully the Providence crowd travels well. I'm, I'm, they, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. <laughs> uh, and I, I hope everyone has a, a good, safe a ball game. Thank you. Three ninety nine for all that you can eat while I'ma stuff my face to a funky beat.